हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सुजीत सर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माई क्लास वंस अगेन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड द प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस देर फोर इन टूडेज क्लास वी शेल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस एंड द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस to know the various kinds of sentences students we have as many as five kinds of sentences the first one of which is assertive now what do we mean by an assertive sentence it is the sentence that gives us information or tells us about new facts assertive sentences always begin with a noun or a pronoun it also includes universal truths let us now look at some of the examples of assertive sentence he reads in class 8 now this is a kind of information which we get from this sentence Kolkata is the capital of West Bengal this is again an information and finally the sun rises in the east which is one of the universal truths so these are what we mean by assertive sentences now students we should also remember an important thing here what is that assertive sentences may be classified into two kinds what are they one is known as affirmative or positive now what do we mean by this this means affirmative sentences or positive sentences do not have any negative words or negative markers like no neither nor never nobody no one etc and on the other hand we have the second kind which is known as negative now negative sentences always carry negative markers like nobody no one neither nor not never etc therefore we should always keep in mind students that there are two kinds of assertive sentences one is affirmative or positive and the other one is negative let us now see what the next kind of sentence is the second kind of sentence is known as interrogative now what do we mean by this students let us have a look it is used to ask questions now questions may again be of two kinds what are they one is known as yes no questions students you must have seen that there are some questions the answers of which come either in yes or in no you need not use a whole sentence for answering such questions and what is the other kind of question let us see this is known as wh questions now here you need to answer in complete sentences let us now look at some of the examples do you go to library every day now here you may answer either in yes or in no now in case of wh question look at this example where do they live now students you can easily understand from this question that here you require a complete sentence to answer it is not like the previous one 
so these are what we mean by interrogative sentences let us now have a look at the third kind of sentence the third kind of sentence is known as imperative sentence now what do we exactly mean by an imperative sentence it is used to order advise or make a request now these sentences generally begin with principal verbs look at some of the examples go to your class at once now this sentence seems to be like an order look at the next example students take medicines regularly now this is of course an advice look at the third example give me your pen please now the adverb please makes it clear that this is a request and students you can also notice that all the three sentences have begun with principal verbs in the first one go in the second one take and in the third one give let us have a look at the fourth kind of sentence the fourth kind of sentence is known as an optative sentence now what is it it is used to offer a prayer or express a wish these sentences generally begin with verbs like may or wish let us have a look at some of the examples may god bless you wish you a happy journey so in this way we construct optative sentences now let us look at the last kind of sentence exclamatory now what do we mean by this let us now have a look at the definition it tells us about the sudden expression of a feeling these sentences are always followed by a note of exclamation as you can see students at the end the exclamatory mark is given let us look at some of the examples alas we have lost the match how difficult the sum is what a lovely garden it is now these sentences always have a mark of exclamation so here we have discussed all the five kinds of sentences now each of these sentences may be classified into two kinds one is affirmative or positive and the other one is negative let us now move ahead to see more now let me remind you students what we exactly mean by the present perfect tense it is used to describe an action completed in the past but linked with the present or whose effect continues in the present and how do we construct a sentence in present perfect tense it begins with a subject and as we have already discussed the subject is either a noun or a pronoun it is followed by either have or has and then comes the third form of the verb let us look at some of the examples now in case of affirmative sentences it is the subject in the beginning followed by have verb and followed by the third form of the verb look at the first sentence students it is i have written and i as we all know it is the first person singular number now in case of first person plural number it is we have written then you have written then third person plural number 
इट इज दे हैव रिटर्न बट इन केस ऑफ थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर नंबर दैट इज आईदर ही और शी इट इज हैज वी हैव टू यूज हैज एंड नॉट हैव so we should remember students that the third person singular number always takes has and thereafter the third form of the verb which is written now in case of negative sentences let us have a look it will be as same as the previous one but because these are negative sentences we have to use not look at the structure students i have not written we have not written you have not written they have not written and finally in case of third person singular it will again be has and the sentence will be either he or she has not written now let us see how we frame questions in present perfect tense the structure of the sentence will be as same as the previous one provided it should begin with a verb why should it begin with a verb because it is a question therefore either have or has will be used in the beginning followed by the subject and thereafter the third form of the verb look at these examples Now for first person singular number it will be have i written in case of first person plural number it will be have we written in case of second person either singular or plural it will be have you written in case of third person plural number it will be have they written and finally in case of third person singular number it will be has once again like the previous one because the third person singular number always takes has and not have and the sentence will become has he or she written now let us see how we should frame negative questions it will be have i not written have we not written have you not written have they not written and finally in case of third person singular it will be has he or she not written now let us see how we should construct sentences in present perfect continuous tense first of all students let me remind you what is meant by the present perfect continuous tense a piece of action which started in the past and it is still continuing at the time of speaking and what will be the formation the subject will be there in the beginning followed by either have or has followed by been and finally will come the ing form of the verb now let us see some of the examples in case of affirmative it will be i have been writing then we have been writing in case of second person singular or plural it will be you have been writing in case of third person plural it will be they have been writing but in case of third person singular once again like the previous one it will be has been and not have been and the sentence will be either he or she has been writing now in case of negative sentences it will be as same as the previous one only not will be added let us have a look i have not been writing we have not been writing you have not been writing they have not been writing and in case of third person singular number either he or she has not been writing let us now see how we should frame questions in present perfect continuous tense here again 
because it is a question it should begin with a verb and then the subject will come followed by been and finally will come the ing form of the verb let us look at the examples have i been writing have we been writing have you been writing have they been writing but in case of third person singular once again we have to use has and not have and the sentence will be has he or she been writing now in case of negative questions let us see have i not been writing have we not been writing have you not been writing have they not been writing and finally in case of third person singular number it will again be has and the sentence will be has he or she not been writing now here we have come to our discussion about the four forms of the present tense and we have also seen how sentences are constructed in all the four forms of the present tense in the next class we shall discuss about the past tense i advise every one of you to keep practicing at home see you all in the next class thank you